Neo, Burrito, we almost evacuate everybody from Evergreen City. The rest of the Popcoat gang are helping with the evacuations. You prioritize on keeping the citizens safe. We'll face this foe off. Wait, you're not coming with us? We'll stay here and buy you guys time to evacuate the planet. He's here. Now, Burrito, we must go. Farewell, Blake. Alright, Pop Goes Gang, we need to continue evacuation. So you didn't tell him who we were fighting? No. It's best I not know that this foe that we're going to face can destroy the entire multiverse as we speak. Burrito, I know this is going to be our last fight together, but I just want to say that it's been an honor working with you. It's been an honor working with you, Neo. How I'm so proud of you. Neo, Burrito, Avatars of Earth 8, it's nice to finally see you all again. And Neo, you've gotten stronger since the last time we met. How you, the two of you have changed since the last time we met. I'm sorry to boo, but this reunion is short-lived. You are not taking this Earth. Oh me? I'm not going to take your pathetic Earth. I'm just going to destroy it and destroy the two of you to set an example to the other avatars that I shouldn't be messed with. I've trained eons under Master Carne for this exact moment. I trained your master, and I was trained by the likes of the Grand Priest himself. So yeah, your moves are useless, because eventually your moves are my moves. Oh yeah, there's one thing that you haven't taught me. Hip Erasure <laughs> Neo <laughs> Well well old man, you think that throwing your weapon is such a, a good choice? Burrito! Burrito! Look, Burrito, everything's going to be all fine, pal. Just hang in there. Neo, behind you! Huh? It seems that you used your full power trying to destroy me. Well, guess what? It's going to take a lot more than that in order to stop me, you know. The two of you shall be punished for not siding with me when they sealed me away. This is my final farewell. Hmm. Not impressed at the slightest. Farewell, you two. One Earth down, many more to go. Citizens of Ninjago City, hear me and rejoice. The end of the world must mark an age of a new era. 
No longer must we be following the tyrannical rules of police officers, costumed vigilantes, talking hedgehogs, and blonde-haired aliens. Instead, this world shall be run under one law, that there are none. <laughs> well, great. Another person tried to invoke a riot. Do you have to deal with guys like these on in your timeline? Oh, please. Guys like these are nothing. When you spend most of your life dealing with two psychopathic killer androids, the comic thug seems nothing to you. Ah, the ninja. And I see that you brought in a friend. I hope your face is wiped from the face of existence. The only thing that's going to be wiped from existence is you, K. Rule. Oh, please. You're making me blush. Boys, give these two gentlemen hell. Men, show these gentlemen what we got. <laughs> Nothing like the ye old golden gut to get a man shaking. Cola. I'm alright, Trunks. Alright, time to finish this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looks like Princess Trunks has become a blonde. This is a Super Saiyan. My name is Trunks. Now who's next? Uh, we surrender, we surrender. <laughs> you know, that was actually quite impressive. I never fail to disappoint myself, do I? After everything that's been going on, I never actually thought I still had it in me. Now, I say we call the commissioner and what's left of his forces and get King K. Rulin and his goonies shipped off to Krypteria. Lobby wishes to see you two in the X cave. He has a porting meeting for you guys. Yes, and are you going to come with to it? No, sadly, we aren't. Me, Sage, and Dr. Eggman are going to discuss our little secret plan. Secret plan? Yeah, and are you guys going to tell us this secret plan? Well, if we were to tell you the secret plan, then it, one, won't be a secret anymore, and two, won't even work. We're the only ones who should know about this plan. If anyone finds out, it'll be a huge detriment to the safety of the multiverse. And if they do know about our secret plan, then you guys would tr probably try and stop us. Wait, try and stop you? Kathy, take us away. <sighs> what was the secret plan of them, Sayers? We will never know. You know what, Trunks? I'm actually quite surprised that Lolbin actually agrees to even trust Eggman this in the first place. Well, seeing as Eggman was part of the Time Breakers, it's probably hard to even trust him at this point. Seeing as he might betray us in the end. Now come on, Cole. Let's head down to the X Cave for this meeting. So, Whis, what exactly is the status right now? Well, Lord Beerus, it appears that our little friend Taboo has recently destroyed Earth-17. But I feel that eventually the protection spell that's protecting this planet from Taboo will wear off and he'll come here next. Well guys, we can't just sit here and wait for the end. The people of our planet need us! You know guys, Frey's right. What could we possibly do to stop Taboo? He's basically a god. We slowly said that he was stronger than even the Grand Priest. But look guys, there has to be another option that we can take to be able to take down Taboo. Um, Goku, what exactly are you saying? Look, I think I know of an alternative way on how we can defeat Taboo. Uh, Kakarot, you're not actually thinking. Oh, I think he is actually thinking. Tear. A Pringles can? What are we going to do, just like throw it at him? No, we're going to use a technique. Master Roshi taught me this technique. It's called the Evil Containment Wave. I'm suggesting we use this technique on Taboo, we trap him in that can, and we put the talisman on it, and that way, he can never get out. Unless somebody accidentally frees him, so, but... Pretty sure we'd be long dead. By the time that happens. Yeah, we used this technique during our fight with Zamasu, and it almost worked. 
I think it could also work for Taboo. But did you not hear from Whis? Taboo is literally more powerful than all of us combined. How could we possibly def like be able to trap him? Hope. It's what this team was built on. It's what's always gotten us through these hard times. We have to have hope. You're betting the survival of this planet on hope? Even if the odds are clearly against us. Shadow, please listen to us. I have a feeling that this is going to work. We're gearing up for the fight of our lives. The fight that determines the, the fate of everything that we've ever known and loved. And we can't go through this plan if all of us aren't involved in it. We all have to do our part. We all have to take a stand. Isn't that what Maria wanted? Yes, we're doing this for the future of our planet. For Toyo and Tsuki. Yes, Lolbit. For Toyo and Tsuki. For Toyo and Tsuki.